Hello. How are you going, kids? I'm Sharon, and this is Yoshi, who's here to say hello. And we're here to talk about feelings and how you are being. Are you staying at home? Have you got to um, stay in inside most of the time? Are you able to go play at all? Or is that something you just can't do at the moment where you're living? It's a tough time, isn't it? And, you know, we could all have feelings about what's going on and sometimes these feelings can be really really good and sometimes these feelings might be pretty bad and a bit bit yucky you know when I give my Yoshi a cuddle a beautiful big hug even though he's all he's all over the place at the moment but it, I feel lots of love and lots of happiness and lots of joy when I get a cuddle from my little boy and sometimes I'm sure you feel that too, like the times when you get hugs and cuddles from mom or dad and you feel happy and safe and feel so good. And then, you know, there are the other times and there are the other feelings that we can get and things like the yucky feelings, like angry. Have you ever been angry? Put your hand up if you've been angry. I've been angry. And sometimes there can be feelings like sadness or um, scared, you know, lonely. You're feeling lonely at the moment, all of that sort of thing. And sometimes Yoshi feels like that too. And he can have some good feelings and he can have some bad feelings. In fact, just the other day, little Yoshi, do you know what happened? I'll tell you a story about what happened. Come here, let's tell the story. Come, come. Oh, he's over there. Come, come, come. No, he's happy over there. And anyway, what happened was we were playing a game of running around and we were chasing each other and we were rolling around on the grass and we were having a really good time and suddenly Yoshi bit me. And when he bit me, you can see there's that mark there and it started bleeding and it really hurt and I started crying a little bit because it hurt because puppy's teeth are super super sharp as any of you would know if you've had a puppy and I pushed him away because I was feeling so upset and poor Yoshi he got really upset because I pushed him away and he didn't realize what he'd done and you know does, has that ever happened to you when somebody's been mean to you but maybe they didn't mean to be mean maybe they took your toy or they they pushed you without meaning and suddenly you feel really bad and there's a bad energy between you both. Have you ever felt like that? And then another thing that happened with Yoshi is that I was drinking tea just yesterday and I was drinking my tea and Yoshi jumped up to have a cuddle, didn't you? And unfortunately he knocked my arm and a little bit of the hot tea went right onto his back. And he got such a shock because he got this little burn and he went, ow, 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 and he ran away. And he was so scared. And then I ran after him to try and help him, but I couldn't find him. And I thought he was lost. And then I felt sad and scared. And then I felt guilty because I thought I'd hurt him. <gasps> My goodness me, sometimes these emotions can be so confusing and everybody's getting emotional. Has that ever happened to you? Maybe when you or your and your best friend I've been having an argument and your friend didn't want to talk to you and you didn't want to talk to them and you said something you didn't mean to say and oh or maybe with mum or dad you can feel confused or upset or angry have you had that or with your siblings with your brother and sister feelings can be very confusing they can be good where we feel good or they can be bad where we feel yucky we just don't feel good so I was wondering if you would like to do an experiment. And just before we do the experiment, I want to show you this picture that Yoshi has put his foot on, so it's a little bit dirty. But can you see the picture? It's a round ball, and on the round ball, there's a face. And this round ball, it signifies a cell in our body, because our bodies are full of millions of cells, tiny little round things. And inside the cell, that's where we have feelings. And we all have feelings in our body. We hold the feelings in our 
body. So this cell, how do you think it's feeling? It could be feeling really sad, something, you know, sad that it can't play with its friends. It could be feeling really angry, couldn't it? Looks like it could be angry. It could be angry because it can't go outside and it really wants to and it's frustrated. It could be feeling scared because it's heard about this thing on the television that's been in the room and this virus and maybe it's feeling a little bit scared or it could be lonely or frustrated. It could be feeling anything. And we have these feelings all through our body. So we're going to do a little experiment. I want you and whoever you're with to close your eyes for a moment and remember a time when you felt like this cell. You might have felt really sad. Maybe you were lost and you felt scared. Maybe you were getting into trouble. Maybe it was a school, no one wanted to play with you. It was a time when you felt bad, when something might have happened that was really yucky and you might have felt one of these yucky feelings. And remember the memory of this bad thing that happened and feel it in your body, feel the feeling. And put your hand on the part of your body where you're feeling that yucky feeling. Have you got it? Have you got the feeling? Have you got the memory of something yucky that might have happened to you in the past? Excellent. And so when you're ready, you can open your eyes and I would love it if you could share this memory and especially the feelings with the person that you're with. And if you're there all by yourself, you can tell me, you can share it with me. So I'll give you a few moments while Yoshi and I sit here and, and hear what you're saying. Excellent. Excellent, Yoshi. That's it. And if you need more time to tell the other person what happened, you can take that time after. But just for now, make sure you tell them how you felt, what that yucky feeling was when that thing happened. So, excellent. So what we're going to do now, if you would like to come on an adventure with Yoshi and I, and we're going to take you on a magical adventure inside your body where all those feelings are and we're going to clear them out so we can let go of those yucky feelings and reconnect with all the good ones and all the good feelings. Would you like to do that? So we'll say bye bye for now and we're going to go on to audio so Yoshi and I can come with you on this magical adventure. So. Yoshi and I are closing our eyes and I invite you to close your eyes too and take a nice big breath in and letting it out. And in front of you, you'll notice that there's a beautiful staircase with 10 steps going down. And when you're ready, you can start walking down this beautiful staircase to step number nine, down to number eight and number seven feeling relaxed and open as you come down to step number six and number five and down to number four now. And there's a whole lot of beautiful crystals on step number four. What color are your crystals? And coming down to step number three, feeling so safe and so well as you come down to number two and right down to the bottom step, number one. And you'll see in front of you a door, a beautiful door that's beckoning you to come through. So go through the door into a beautiful light and take a big breath in of this gorgeous light. And what color is your light? Let it fill you up. And you're noticing just to the side, there's a very special friend who's coming in to be with you on your magical adventure. And this special friend could be a magical friend. It could be somebody from a movie or a television show or a book that you really, really like and feel safe with. It could be a special animal friend like Yoshi. 
or it could be an angel. And so just greet your special friend, knowing that they will keep you safe. They're very wise and you can trust them. And they're showing you a magical vehicle, like a spaceship. And you can get into this special magical vehicle with your special friend. And in front of you, there's a big flashing green button. And when you're ready, you can press that green button, knowing that this special spaceship will take you inside your body to an area where some of those feelings were that we've been speaking about, to a part of your body that might need a little bit of help. And let the spaceship take you there. It knows where to go. And when you get there, you can put your hand on the part of your body where you've come in for a nice, safe landing. That's it. Well done. And hop out of the spaceship and have a good look around. What's it look like in there in that part of the body that needs a bit of help? Are there any walls? Are there any colours? What's going on in there? And there's one area that seems to be drawing your attention that's really standing out. And feel yourself going over to that area that really wants your attention. And go right up to that area and feel the feeling that is pouring out of that part of your body. And breathe it in and feel whatever that feeling might be. And ask yourself, when have I felt like this before? And in your mind's eye, look down at your feet and see what shoes a younger you was wearing when you had this same feeling. Again, looking down at your feet and asking yourself, in your mind's eye, looking down at your feet, and when have I felt like this before? And let a memory come. And what shoes are you wearing? How old are you? Who's there with you in this memory when that thing happened? And putting that whole memory up on a big movie screen and let the whole memory of that thing that happened when you had that feeling, let it play out from the beginning to the end. Excellent. And now letting the little you from the memory come down to a beautiful, safe campfire right there in that part of the body. And you and your special friend and the little you are all at this special, safe campfire. And the special friend has a big bunch of balloons and every balloon is a very special resource, a special quality that the younger you needed at that time. So it could be balloons of safety, balloons of trust, balloons of joy, balloon of love. Maybe there's a balloon of courage. Maybe there's a balloon of strength. And let the younger you breathe in all the balloons that the little you really, really needed at that time. And let the little you fill up with those balloons, the strength, the courage, the safety, the love, and whatever else the little you really needed. And now let the little you go back up onto that movie screen and reenact that old memory the way it would have been if you'd had those resources. And look at how the little you is acting now. Look how the little you is able to speak more freely and more openly and how that other person can really hear how the little you was feeling at that time. Excellent. And now let the little you come back down to the campfire. And we're going to let that other person come back down to the campfire to whoever it was that the little you really needed to speak to. So it could be mum, it could be dad, it could be a friend, it could be a brother or sister, it could be anybody. And if the little you could say anything to that person, and really let them hear what it was like for you at that time. What does the little you really need to say to them? Speak it out. Let them hear 
how hard it was for you at that time. Excellent. And if that person could really hear how hard it was for you, what would they say to you from their heart, from the love inside of their heart? What might they say? Ah, and if the little you could hear that, what would the little you say back to them? Excellent. And then if that person could speak again, what would they say? And let the little you say any final thing that the little you really, really, really needs to say to that person. Excellent. And now we're going to let the present day you speak to that person because you've been carrying those big feelings inside your body all that time. And if you could speak to that person, what do you really need to say to that person? Let them hear what it's been like for you that you had to carry this, these big feelings. Let them hear how hard it's been for you. Excellent. And if that person could really hear that, what would they say to you from the love in their heart? That's it. And what would you say back to them? Beautiful. And what would they say hearing that from their heart? And if there's anything else that you want to say, let it be spoken now. Excellent. And if your special friend wanted to say something to you or to that other person, what does your special friend want to say to you? What advice does your special friend have? And you can really hear that. That's great. And so when you're ready, that other person can merge into the fire of safety and love. And you can go over to the little you. And you can give the little you a big hug and feel the little you merging inside of you with all of these good feelings inside. The safety, the confidence, the courage, the strength, the love, the fun, all of those good feelings and breathing them all in as the little you is growing right up inside of you, right up into the big you. And letting the campfire disappear and checking out the area. How is it different now? How is it changing? And if that part of your body had a message for you, what does that part of the body want you to hear? That's great. So when you're ready, you can step back into the magical vehicle and let it take you all the way back to the doorway with your special friend, all the way back to the doorway that you first came through and stepping out. And you can give your special friend a big hug, knowing that they're always with you. All you have to do is come on this magical adventure. Your special friend is always there waiting for you. You're never alone. And you can go back through the door and there's the steps. Are you ready to run up the steps? Go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right up to the top step. And when you're completely there and you're fully all together and you're feeling good and you're feeling fresh and you're feeling free, that's awesome. And when you're ready, you can take a nice big breath in, have a big stretch, let your breath out. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Well done. You did really beautifully. Yoshi and I are clapping. You've done so well. Bye for now. <laughs>